Well, I made some progress on the mini frame here. Uh, I took the spindles and original tires out the front, cleaned up the frame rails with the paint stripper on the drill, took the whole transmission apart. I had to flip the sprocket from that side to that side, so I just took the these um, units, these two halves. I took the E-clips off the ends of the axles of the spider gears, and I um, took it, flipped it, put the spider gears back on the axles, uh, I put grade 8 volts in here, 54 tooth sprocket. Um, I had to uh, flip it because it would be right in line with the frame rail, as you can see. So, Peerless 128, I'm going to be taking it back apart. I might get longer bolts because my brake drum will be on this side, and I want to use these bolts. Um, yeah, I'm locking it, putting new grease in it next time I take it back apart. There's the engine. It's just kind of sitting on the original engine pleat, gas tank. Uh, I got the parts mower frame in here. I'm going to be cutting the engine pleat on it because that engine originally came out of this thing. So I'm going to be cutting the frame here just along the edges and the whole square. I won't be welding it, I'll just be cutting it, make some progress. Uh, I need tires so I can set the rear uh, ride height. I think like uh, 14 inch or 12 inch tires, maybe uh, 9 to 12 inch tires front. Kind of want to keep a stock look. I think these are 13s or 12s, uh, those are 10s. Uh, stock hood, probably won't be using that. I think I, I'll get a hood from a from a mower, and I might be making a really cool custom grill. I have some ideas. I already made a, I made a custom grill on that thing, so. Yeah, I'm going to start cutting it. Uh, kind of throw it together. And I have some, I have some strapping somewhere. I can't I don't remember where it was. But uh, I have, like, metal strap. This is a C-channel frame. Underneath it's open. So, uh, I think it's one inch wide, so... I might be able to weld that strapping all along to close up that and then weld the ends on. So, making progress. So, uh, this is all ground down, bow keepers all clean. The CIO is uh, grinding down some things that stick up over there, too. And, uh, fits on like, like that. Pretty much. Uh, just weld it onto the frame or whatever. Uh, I might move it back and forth a little bit depending on where the front axle is going to be. I uh, might flip it around or something like that. But it's 13, it's basically 13 by 13. Might be like 13 by uh, 15. Not sure, it doesn't really matter about the ends. I can just cut them. Uh, I got that cut out and everything. So this is ready to go on there um, as a mock-up purposes, so I have something nice to bolt to. Um, and I'm going to find that flat stock I have and see if that will work to box in the bottom of the frame. Well, I'm welding up uh, the ends here. As you can see, I welded that end and um, over here has been uh, mostly boxed in. Did the tops of it, everything too, and I have my strap. I found my metal straps, and they work pretty good. So I'm gonna weld them. I already welded this one on. Just some spaced whatevers, and uh, grind it all down sooner or later. <laughs> but I have another one that goes on top. I have uh, two more. I have this one right here, and uh, yeah, just kind of box and frame in. Um, welder got a little hot hot, and uh, but that's basically what's uh, happening. Make this a lot stronger. It hopefully won't flex anymore. So sweet. Well, as you can see, my frame is fully boxed. Um, I had those metal straps and uh, finished boxing them. They were just these two main parts here. 
and then I stopped right there and I just cut my third strap with well, two little sections on top. I welded and grinded them and they're really not noticeable. Um, these holes, there's these holes, there's two more kind of right there and there. I plugged um, two of them, didn't think they would come out well, but they, they kind of didn't, but they, they look a lot, lot better than uh, those holes there. As you can see, I these are it's grinded. They were a little bit bigger than maybe an inch and an eighth, and my frame is like an inch wide. So I grinded the edges, all the edges. It took some work. Obviously, welded the ends, but it just it looks really, really good. I'm happy on how it came out. See, you can see the welds. You know, just one inch, one inch and a half. Uh, beads it's very very strong now it used to flex about two inches if uh, you stood on the bottom like stood on that and had it standing upright and you could grab the top bar and it'd go like two two and three inches this I can't really get it to flex or I mean if it is flexing I can't tell um, you know maybe it flexes at most a quarter inch I mean I probably notice it it's good enough for my books. I know it's going to be a lot, lot stronger now. Um, I got a hood today, too. This is a 70s wheel horse hood. So that decal, I'll be taking that off. Kind of like a two eyeballs and a grill. Kind of cool to have lights, I guess. I wasn't really going to use lights, but I could hook those up. That's a cool little chrome emblem. I'll be lopping the hood off right about here and then um, like say I cut the hood and this is what you saw I'll be getting a piece of metal and making a dash almost maybe the old tilted dash and I can have my uh, clusters and whatever so I'll have like a bar that comes from the bottom of the frame up to the dash and then this whole thing hmm, this whole thing will flip up forward with like a little strap holding it or something uh, I think I'm gonna put a roll bar inside of it uh, like right here and it'll just go inside over in case I flip it and I don't damage my uh, engine I've seen people break intakes and uh, air boxes and stuff so uh, I mean at speed anything happens so um, maybe a roll bar or something like that dash will be plenty strong I'll make sure uh, that <clears throat> front axle will be front axle can go underneath. I measured it out. It could probably go underneath the intake. There's a governor panel right there, so I kind of have this little square box that I can tuck it under, uh, depending on where I want the engine on the frame itself. And there's the front axle. I'm thinking about running 12s or 10s front and 14s rear for tire sizes. Um, just have a bunch of stuff. Haven't really been working on it. I need money for uh, tires so I can set the rear axle rat height uh, and then I can just work from back to front. That might be the gas tank I'm using, I'm not sure. Just real rough stuff. Glad I got the frame all boxed in. I got people yelling at me because I'm not putting up videos. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of a little stalemate right here just because, you know, the money money. Uh, I don't really have much going on at school so. Um, I don't know. Sooner or later, I'll be opening up the 700 and uh, changing that to oil filled. Just uh, planning, thinking. I've had a lot of time for thinking. Uh, I thought this wheel horse hood looked great. Saw it in the junkyard, picked it up. Ten bucks. Isn't that bad? I might be getting a new engine for this. I don't. I don't know. I saw a V twin in the junkyard. Maybe if it stays around long enough, I can get money and put it on there. But uh, yeah. So something something going on and uh charging a battery right now. Engine plate, hood, solid base. So sweet.